Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it is your host with the most Avery LR32 here and destroy the ever living boo boo stain off of that subscribe button so we can climb even further beyond the 1k ladder. Currently sitting at 1,048 subscribers, and I cannot tell you how appreciative I am as the person outside my window just scared the shit out of me. I think someone's like cleaning the outside of my house or something. Uh, but, anyways, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're having a fantastic holiday season. I really do appreciate all of the support. So, I want to do a bit of an interesting video today, and I wanted to talk about the different Yu-Gi-Oh! simulators, both official in the form of Master Duel, aka Master Shits, as we call it here on the channel. And I want to talk about the differences and which one I feel is the best one. So be sure you sit back, relax, and if you have any questions that for whatever reason I don't cover in the video, feel free to leave a comment down below and either myself or hopefully someone else will help you out in the comments. So let's start off with the one that I am always using. This is Project Ignis EDO Pro uh, by extension. Uh, well, I guess not really by extension, but there's one that is similar to this, but with some extra animations called YGO Omega. And I'm not going to show off that one because it's literally just the same thing as EDO Pro. The only other reason that I have this other one pulled up that I'm about to show you, this one here is Yu-Gi-Oh! Dawn of a New Era. The only reason why I have this one pulled up is just to show the difference in quality um, between like you know, the, the card pictures themselves and like the user interface. This one's not very good because it has like ads pop up from time to time, even though it's a free download, it's kind of asinine. Um, but this one here, EDO Pro, I absolutely love this one. What makes EDO Pro great though? Well, if you go under quick settings here, you see that you've got enable sound effects, enable music. You can download music off of YouTube and you can click enable music and then it will start playing music uh, as you're, you know, dueling against somebody, you can mute the opponent, you can mute spectators, you can have quick animations, like in case you get tired of seeing the animation, you can just make them quick, you can change the field view, so instead of it kind of being, you know, looking like this, where it's like, if it'll load, where it's kind of like vertical, you can hit top down, and then it gives you a top down look to it if you prefer something like that to each their own. It's very customizable. You, of course, with all of these unofficial simulators, have all of the cards unlocked from the start. So you're not having to do something like in Master Shits where you got to pay or use gems and shit to, you know, get cards. You just, you know, you hit search. Oh, look, you have every single card art of Blue Eyes known to man and even the one in the OCG that has Kaiba on it. That's the other thing that's great about these, um, unofficial simulators too, is that it's not like in Master Shits where you only get certain card arts. You get everything unlocked, both TCG and OCG. If there's cards from the OCG that you want to play with, then, you know, oh, Jesus. Sorry, that's the, uh, that's the, uh, what do you call it? The bot. It's called Jarvis, but it's, uh, it's here on uh, Dawn of a New Era. We're going to go ahead and close this shit out, uh, because it's just flat out terrible. <laughs> um, so yeah, there's, um, there's the other one out of the way, Dawn of a New Era. So yeah, like you get the OCG cards and stuff. You get all the different Dark Magician art. Let me see if I can pull up here. Uh, here we go. You hit OCG and hit search. Now you've got all of the OCG monsters and just all the cards in general that you want to play with here. You've got the trap stuff that isn't released over here in the TCG yet. You can really do a lot of experimentation like that. And really just like in quality, this is honestly the best one. You can obviously create your different decks. Uh, you can shuffle and do test hands. You can sort your deck, clear it. You can save it, you know, things like that. You can change the ban list. So you can play in the rush duel, ban list, speed duel, traditional world, no ban list. Like all of the shit goat format, all the shit that master shits should have and just doesn't. This is an absolutely fantastic simulator. You've got the different categories to help you minimize down to how many cards pop up. You can choose the link monsters if you're trying to look for a specific link uh, monster, you just pick whichever arrows you want. Uh, it, it's it's really fantastic in that regard. Of course, you've got a log. You can keep track of things that have happened. The chat box. Repositories is kind of whatever. Just make sure that you have all the latest updates. Uh, the interface itself, you go into servers. You hit refresh. The main server that you play on is EU Central. You can do the different um, servers, but there's not really going to be a lot of people in them because the main one that's auto loaded onto the game is EU Central Competitive. So like my dad will sometimes be a jackass and he'll go into US West Casual to play against a bunch of casual scrubs when he was back playing Mystic Mind before that shit got banned. Just go into EU Central Competitive, set yourself up for a match. You can set it up with allowed cards of either just TCG, OCG, TCG, pre-releases, like things that they just added. They're still maybe possibly working out the bugs. Anything goes is just no ban list. You can choose which balance you want on here. Custom rules, deck options, things like that. 
Uh, you can set the amount of life points. Don't be a troll and put like one life point. You're just being an asshole. <laughs> uh, you can set up the time limit. It starts you off at 120, but you can obviously change it to whatever you want, 300, 900. I've tried to do like 3,000 seconds to have all the time in the world, um, but I think it caps out at like 900 or something because I noticed if I do like 3,000 or something, then it just counts down like it's at 120. Um, so do keep that in mind. There are some ruling issues with this that I believe I have talked about before in the past. Things like Crystal Conclave, if you're familiar with Crystal Beasts, do not work properly on the game. If I could pull this shit up. Uh, let's see. Crystal Conclave. So the way that this card works in the OCG is that if your opponent pops like your Crystal Beast on your field with like a Dark Hole or Raigeki, after the fact, you can activate the Crystal Conclave and get the effect. But that's not how it works in the TCG. But yet the way it works on EDO Pro is with the OCG ruling. That's obviously not correct. I don't know why it works like that. It could just be an oversight from the developers. Other than that, I haven't really ran into any sort of massive issues or bugs or anything. There could be a lot of other cards that work like that too. Um, obviously, the rules are taken care for you so if you're playing something like tier element you don't have to think about how you're triggering your card effects the game will tell you which effects do you want to use if you want to download this uh you're going to be doing it through discord i'm sure you can find some sort of youtube tutorial that says how to download edo pro you click on the discord link you go into the server you download it and then you're done that's pretty much just because of the fact that people don't want konami taking this down because if it's through discord i guess it's kind of a workaround um, but yeah, that's, that's just sort of is what it is. So we've talked about EDO pro let's go into another server. I don't know why I said another server. I meant to say another simulator, but, uh, besides the point, uh, hopefully also the dawn of the new era game was showing up in my recording. Sometimes my uh, screen recording only does what's showing on screen once I start the recording. So hopefully the dawn of the new era one popped up, but regardless, um, dawn of the er new era really isn't all that good. Anyway, the main simulators that you can download our dawn of a new era which is still updated ygo pro is no longer updated ygo omega is updated and then edo pro is also updated so the main ones if you want to do a download that you can do are edo pro ygo omega dawn of the new era really isn't all that good because the pop-ups and the ads asking them to ask like the person asking you to donate to them like that's a bunch of horse shit so your main ones are going to be ygo omega and edo pro via discord if you do not want to do a download and you want to do in your um i was about to say toolbar god i'm such a 26 year old boomer uh in your web browser uh you could do dueling book and then there's also dueling nexus which we're going to be talking about in a minute Dueling Book is basically the version where you take care of the rules yourself. It is the most similar to IRL Yu-Gi-Oh! that you will get. I personally think that this mode is a bucket of dog shit, um, but it's very freeform. It's not very hold your hand, show you the chains like on EDO Pro. For example, I'm in a solo mode right here, which is absolutely fantastic, I gotta say. You've got standby, main phase, battle phase. You can click back and forth and do all these things, and essentially it's up to both players in the game to take care of the rules, obviously you've got the dice roll here, um, you know, and then you've got the log here, it'll show you, you've got the coin toss, that's slow as shit. You've got the token, you can put out as many tokens as you want onto your field. Uh, you can move it to the opponent's side, you know, stuff like that. It's pretty cool. You know, you can just activate things willy-nilly. It's just an interface to be able to play Yu-Gi-Oh! There's not much really to it. If if you're old school, you may remember Dueling Network. Uh, this is essentially a sequel to that after uh, Konami sent a cease and desist. Um, so, like, you know, you've got your extra deck here. You can draw cards. You can shuffle your deck. Things can become very toxic if, you know, someone decides, oh, I'm just going to draw a bunch of cards and then you got to call a judge and wait for the judge and then someone may not want to put their cards back and then they'll just troll you. It's very toxic in that regard. That's why I don't like doing Dueling Book because it's, you know, if you're playing against someone that you know, like you're on Discord or something and you're playtesting against a friend, like that's cool. But if you're just playing against randoms, which... You just literally do here in the duelist pool. You uh, just do advanced rated TCG, OCG. You can also do GOAT format competitive. You can set up for match or single with siding. And then you can go against a random. To me, it's just not all that fun because, you know, you're probably going to get someone that's toxic that just doesn't know what they're doing. Uh, it is skill-based, so, like, the more wins you get, the higher your rating goes up. But I don't want to have to deal with someone who's going to rule shark me and shit as if I'm in an IRL game. Um, you know, you can put a little dual note, you know, new to dueling book, you can type whatever you want here. Um, you've also got the custom cards. People will upload their own custom cards, uh, to use. Uh, so like, you know, people will play like a dragon ball deck, stuff like that. You've got goat format where you can go in and, and play goat. They've always, 
they have a tutorial that you can use to learn more about goat traditional format it is what it is unlimited there's no ban list so just three of everything yeah that that's that that gets toxic real quick with all the ftks rush duel if you want to play rush duels like what they have in the ocg speed duels i don't know why you'd want to play speed duels speed duels aren't my thing but you know what you do you boo boo you've got um the little chat box here people holding edison tournaments or edison tournaments edison tournaments like every week and things like that like a lot of people come on here like youtubers and stuff to play against their subscribers it's cool in that regard i prefer edo pro um just because i don't want to deal with toxic crap on here i personally like it for the solo mode because you can just goldfish hands and just test and things like that um, very good user interface if you want OCG cards, TCG cards, official cards only, custom cards, GOAT format cards, speed duel, rush duel. You can set cards as your favorite, so it's just easier to pull them up. Same thing here with EDO Pro. You've got all the cards unlocked to you from the start. You don't have to worry about master shits having to pay money. Like, I, I swear that's the biggest thing that Konami dropped their ball on was just making you have to pay for cards. Oh, and uh, just to let you all know, uh, because people, I guess, love their Maxi, Maxi is banned. You are not playing with Maxi. Stop that shit. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think Dueling Book is absolutely fantastic. If you want that best IRL scenario where you're taking care of the chains yourself, declaring your trigger effects in the chat, you know, things like that. Personally, it's not for me because I can learn that in my own time. I don't need to play against possibly someone that just wants to be an asshole online you know, uh, and taking care of the rules. Like, I, if I want to do that, I'm going to go to my locals. You know, if you don't have a locals around you and you want that feel for it, then yeah, you know, go on Dueling Book. I personally don't really care for Dueling Book all that much. So let's go ahead and dive into the next one, which is Dueling Nexus. Okay, and now we come to the simulator that is, I think it's, uh, how, how do I put this? It sucks. <laughs> like, this one just... It sucks. Out of all of the simulators, please don't play this one. I beg you. They recently overhauled their user interface, but it looks worse than what it was originally. Uh, this this is just hot garbage. Um, so on the side here, you've got your duel. You can choose single match, tag duel, match duel, custom games. You can you know do a solo mode for whatever reason. You can play against the AI. You can show duels. You can watch people. You've got the leaderboards for people that waste their time on here. Um, you've got your replays that you can look back on, which I don't know why you would, because that's what you got EDO Pro for. You've got the home button that tells you about all the updates and stuff, and then they've got the dual zone here. 100% nine days left. They really want you to donate to them to keep up the servers. They've got their about us section. Donate, don't donate. Uh, that, that, that's not your concern. Um, you can go in here and do single games, and essentially the way that it works is just like EDO Pro, where it's automated. You can change your photo and stuff. Uh, let's just go in here and play 60 card FTK. I don't even know. Uh, that's an invalid deck. Okay, well, I'm just going to go fuck myself. Uh, what about Amazement Stun? Uh, it's an invalid deck. Uh, I never update my decks on here. Can you tell? Uh, what about Barrier Stun? Is that valid? That's not valid. But you <laughs> you get my point, I hope, um, that you, know, you can go in here. You can choose what deck you want to play. Um, it's, it's really straightforward. I just can't find a deck that is valid on here. Okay, I've got Cash Tira. Um, so like you put ready, you choose rock, paper, scissor. I'm going to pick rock. Uh, okay. It's cute. Uh, they got a little bit of a different background here to me. It just feels so laggy and so slow. Like it, it's just bad. You can also change, uh, change your chains. So like if you want to, Oh God, this person's being toxic already. <laughs> um, we're going to be talking about that in a minute. Um, you can chain, change your chains, uh, to manual where like every single time that the opponent makes an action, you can choose what you want to do. You can have it be totally off or it won't let you respond at all. Or you can have the game take care of it where it's automatic for you. You can also do the same thing in like EDO pro and stuff like that. Something that I will say that I've noticed on a lot of these simulators is the decks that you go against. So if you want to play against mostly rogue decks, then you want to play on dueling nexus. Um, the problem is, is that just dueling nexus to me just feels so buggy like one time i tried activating exchange of the spirit and the server literally blue screened on me i've shown that on the channel before you don't have issues with like any sort of particular cards on things like edo pro or dueling book because dueling book you just take care of it yourself um the interface itself like i don't like this here at all um uh, like okay he's playing runic whatever you've got your time limit here and life points and stuff like that's cool you know you've got your photos that you can change on here but you can also do that on dueling book you've got the event log so you can see what's being changed here you got the chat log the options things like that play spells and monsters automatically um if you want to play against meta dueling book or edo pro is your best bet on edo pro you can all you can obviously put a note saying testing meta only or testing for ycs whatever 
Um, I have noticed some server issues on Dueling Book. Whenever there's been like a big YCS coming up, people will just flood the servers and it just can't handle it. Uh, again, if you're on Dueling Nexus, you're going to be going against a lot of trolls and people just playing rogue trash. Like it's it's really not a fun time because if you are really trying to play test hard, especially if you're doing a match, Dueling Nexus is just not the place to go because there's so many rogue players on here. Whether you're in ranked or not, it's just a lot of rogue decks. I'm not really sure why. Um, I guess people just want to come on to Dueling Nexus and troll. I just really don't know. I feel like I get a good mixture of both Rogue and Meta on uh, EDO Pro, which is why I think that that is the best one overall. Now, it does open up different tabs on your page, uh, but again, this is just something that you play in your browser, no download required. If, like, you know, you say, well, screw this guy, he's playing Runic, I'm going to Rage Quit, then you can just close this out and it will take you back to the main screen. You can go into deck construction and all that, change which deck that you want. Um, both Dueling Book and Dueling Nexus have an ability where you can, uh, obviously, you can create your deck, but then you can also upload decks like a YDK file. You can upload your decks from like EDO Pro into Dueling Nexus or Dueling Book. Or like on Dueling Book, you can download decks from Dueling Book and put them into EDO Pro. Then you don't have to worry about rebuilding them. That's a very nice quality of life um, feature to have. Um, but other than that, I just I feel like Dueling Nexus is really slow, really laggy. It's got a lot of bugs, like I mentioned with Exchange of the Spirit. A lot of rogue decks on here. If you're trying to get better at the game, if you're trying to you know play against meta and learn meta decks, Dueling Nexus is not the way to go. It's just it's filled with a lot of scrub, honestly, in my humble opinion. So with all that out of the way, ladies and gentlemen, final thoughts. I think that the best one that we have access to outside of Master Shits, I think that Master Shits is terrible. I've talked about that it's terrible. I'm not going to rehash that here. Master Shits is the worst official Yu-Gi-Oh! simulator, and out of just Yu-Gi-Oh! simulators in general, it's the worst. I feel like the best one for the broad Yu-Gi-Oh! base is definitely EDO Pro. The download is not a bug. It's not going to give you a you know, a computer virus. And if you want something in your um, browser, maybe do dueling book and just test your decks in solo mode. Maybe try it yourself playing against someone else taking care of the chains. Just know you're probably going to get into ruling arguments and then there may not be a uh, judge online available to take your ruling question and to, you know, resolve the situation. So keep that in mind as you move on with these. But guys, that's all I've got for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.